मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ ए कंप्यूटर दिस इज द फिजिकल व्यू ऑफ द कंप्यूटर विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ ए मॉनिटर ए सी पी यू ए माउस एज वेल एज की बोर्ड फोर कॉम्पोनेंट्स टूगेदर कॉल्ड ए कंप्यूटर बट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ब्लॉक डायग्राम और लॉजिकल आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ ए कंप्यूटर इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ इनपुट आउटपुट एंड ए सेंट्रल यूनिट कॉल्ड कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ कंट्रोल यूनिट अर्थमेटिक लॉजिक यूनिट एज वेल एज मेमोरी यूनिट मेमोरी यूनिट इज अगेन कनेक्टेड विथ एक्सिलरी स्टोरेज और सेकेंडरी स्टोरेज वी कैन कॉल इट अपन सो let us discuss this entire framework uh, let us have a glance on it input means what we give to the computer is called input output means what computer gives us is called output then what performed by the computer is called processing this flow chart can be represented like input processing outputs input will be given by input devices processing will be performed by cpu central processing unit output will be generated on output devices this is a flow of data in the computers so let us discuss each and every unit in detail there is a control unit in our picture this is here control unit which is responsible for in and out of computer so whatever happens in the computer control unit is responsible so what comes in means whatever comes from input devices is been taken care by control unit what goes out means what has to be displayed on to the output devices is also been responsible by control unit what to do inside means whatever data given as input what to be performed or what action to be taken on it what kind of processing to be done on it that is also been responsibility by control unit if data is to be stored where to be stored means in primary memory it has to store in secondary memory it has to store in what kind of memory it has to be stored that is also been responsibility of the control unit how to store means there are lot of file formats in the computer 
Actually, computer understands only one language called machine language. But there are a lot of uh, uh, types of files available in the computer. Like uh, basically, you can say for the pictures, bitmap images, JPEGs, GIF, PNG. Uh, where it comes to Word document, it has extension called document type, text file, txt file, right? Data file, DAT. Uh, for movies, uh, dot uh, mov is there, dot mp4 is there, some different formats are there. In what kind of format the data is to be stored? Means that is to how to store the data. Then there is one more unit called arithmetic logic units. So this arithmetic logic unit is responsible for performing mathematical and logical calculations performing mathematical and logical calculations who performs arithmetic logic unit performs mathematical and logical calculation its only responsibility is to do mathematical and logical calculations then memory units we have the third part here called memory units so main memory as well as auxiliary memory divided so memory units uh, responsibility is it's a memory unit is the capacity of data storage right we have uh, primary memory as well as secondary memory memory can be measured in bits and bytes one bit refers to zero or one memory measurement units are given here one bit refers to zero or one means in terms of computer the smallest unit is called a bit eight bits together makes one byte means eight boxes of memory makes one byte in which you can represent uh, all zeros some zeros and some ones 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, or all ones. So this zeros and ones are been converted into user understandable language or user written data will be converted into zeros and ones using interpreters or translators so that machine will understand the code. 1024 bytes will give you 1 kilobyte 1024 kilobytes will give you 1 megabytes 1024 megabytes will give us 1 gigabyte 1024 gigabytes is equals to 1 terabyte 1024 terabytes is equals to 1 petabyte 1024 petabytes is equals to 1 exabyte 1024 exabytes is equals to 1 zettabyte 1024 zettabytes is equals to 1 yettabyte etc sir why always 1024 you are been calling here we have two digits called 0 or 1. 0 or 1 means we have only two binary, right? 2 to the power of 10 gives me 1024. 2 to the power of 10 will gives me 1024. That is why instead of 1000 we use the term 1024 right so memory is further classified into primary memory secondary memory so again memory has a primary memory will be classified into categories uh, PROM EPROM 
EEPROM etc then secondary memory will be based on magnetic material used we will discuss this in next one more video right based on the magnetic material based on the optical material based on some other material how memory will be classified what is the hierarchy of the memory that we will discuss uh, there is one short bit I left here there is called a nibble half byte or four bits refers to one nibble n i b b l e four bits is equals to one nibble so in the next class uh, we will be discussing input and output devices too so